Greetings, I'm Brian from RC Work Boat Haven. Welcome to part one of an experimental hull design series. We're going to build a 24 inch model that is a modified version of an older design from the year 1882 called the Fendur. That's a French word that means knife or chop. And as you can see, the shape of this hull would cut through the water like a knife. The great thing about this particular design is that the shape of the deck lends itself to be adapted as a tugboat or a trawler. But the overall shape of the hull is designed as a sailboat. So let me give you some background about where I found this design and how I modified it. Thanks for watching. I have an interesting book called Small Yachts, Their Design and Construction by C.P. Kuhnhart. This was first published in 1891, and he does a fairly good analysis of many different types of hulls. The great thing about this book is that he produce, reproduces the lines of the hull, so many different models could be made based on the information in this book. One design that caught my eye was the Fendure model. It was designed in 1882 and it was 41 inches long and weighed about 50 pounds, so it was fairly heavy. The uh, performance of this model was very good according to the uh, write-up on it. It's a very, very easily driven hull and yet plenty of ballast can be put inside. The hull is very interesting because it is designed with straight sections here, and that would mean that it could be easily built. So I decided to modify this a little bit and build a 24 inch version, and then experiment with it down at the lake and find out what the actual qualities in the water are of this unusual design. So here is my modified plan of the Fendure model. I've made a few changes, but it has been scaled up to 24 inches. So this is the actual size of the model that we're going to be working on. We eliminated a small radius up here close to the shear line that was in the original Fendure model. I've raised up the height of the bow above the water line about a quarter of an inch. I eliminated a triangular shaped transom and put in a round stern on this model and also expanded out the sides in this area here to get an even curve. The great thing about this particular model is the sides are all a straight line. So someone could theoretically build this model out of stir sticks if they were placed vertically but you have to have a profile to work on. So this is how I built the model. I made a center keel profile. I made a deck profile. And I made a strip of wood up here. And that, when it's attached to the deck, gave us the shear line profile. So the model was constructed upside down on a flat surface. and this line here was flat on the table. Now it was a matter of putting up some temporary supports at these three frames to hold the keel totally vertical above the underside of the deck, here and here. So it's possible to construct this hull without any frames at all, provided we've got the contour of the deck and the contour of the keel. Everything else is just a straight line. I didn't use popsicle sticks, of course. I used basswood, four inches wide and one sixteenth of an inch thick, put placed vertically so that it can be twisted like this and conform to the twist in the hull shape. Three pieces of basswood, one here for the shear line, one for the keel, and the deck. That's how the model was made. So here you can see the keel that I made. 
It was two pieces of one eighth inch basswood cut out with a knife and then wood glued together and weights put on it and it was set on a flat surface. Here are the two basswood pieces that are glued to the deck and this is the flat surface that was placed upside down on the table to make the model. So here you can see how I super glued the tops here and the bottom here and twisted the basswood to get the right shape. So this is not really an exact build video. This is more of a, uh, a quick introduction to the, uh, to the basic idea and the plan. If it's successful as a design, I would be happy to enlarge it and do a really detailed video on how to build it from a plan. But at this point, I've got the hull all glued in place here, and I've given it one coat of polyester resin, outside and inside. At this stage, I'm ready to put some fiberglass cloth on here and give it a couple of coats of polyester resin. And on the inside, I'm going to give it a coat of white gel coat. Now, aside from having very poor accommodation, if it were built as a full size boat, this design has some other uh, potential issues. If we talk about initial stability, this is just about the opposite of a flat shape like a barge, where there's plenty of initial stability with a barge, but once it's healed over beyond, say, 30 degrees, the stability decreases rapidly and it will capsize. So you can imagine a catamaran. A catamaran has great initial stability, but once it's healed beyond a certain point, it will go over and it may not come back up. It will remain upside down. So this is really the opposite extreme. So I'm not sure what I'm going to end up with if I were to have, say, eight pounds of weight down here on the bottom internal ballast. If I have this boat on a calm day and I put the slightest weight here, it's liable to heel over to a certain point. Now, it will stabilize rapidly, and once it heels over to this extent here, the writing moment increases dramatically. In a sailboat, it really isn't that much of a factor, I think, if it's an RC one especially, if you start off sailing and initially it heals over to say this point before it begins to stiffen up. That's not a big deal. But what I'm concerned about is if this boat is under power and say approaching hull speed, what if there was rapid turning of the rudder? Would it go like this and then like this and so on? And it may not be suitable for power, but it might be just great for sail. If it does make it as a sailing model, it's going to be weedless. And that is a tremendous advantage in all the small ponds and so on. So there's a lot of questions here that are in my mind, but I do believe that once we've got it all painted up here and we can see the actual shape, it's going to be a very attractive looking model. So I'm going to uh, wind up the uh, first part of this uh, design experiment. Over the next two weeks, I'm going to finish this boat as, uh, as much as I can. I could have the uh, motor in. It could be ready to run by the time I do part two of this series. But if it works, it's an interesting design and one that's easily made. So until then, thanks for watching.